All right, hey guys. So, uh, let me know in the comments if you like if you like um, uh, inspection videos. So, I'm just doing an inspection on this 2011 Honda Pilot. Um, you know, a couple of things. Uh, a lot of times you want to check is your ball joints, especially with uh, this thing has 240,000 kilometers on it. Uh, check your lower ball joints. Check your sway bar lengths. They're usually worn out. Uh, check check these guys see if they're broken, but I think they're uh, they, they came out with a Bulletin or a recall and extended the warranty for this thing. I can't remember haven't done one in a while uh, Other than that uh, just check for your oil leaks, you know your usual suspect oil pump Seal is leaking or you know in case of this one. This one has the uh, oil filter housing. That's leaking oil uh, Yeah, right here if you look above the oil filter housing because dry above and then it just starts leaking right over here that's where that oil leak is coming from and then moving along there's you know your brakes your brakes are almost almost done right so almost no more brakes and then going around the back you know typical Honda Pilot when I took it for a road test it was pretty bouncy so this, this shock on both sides actually is leak, leaked out. So this side's leaking. And then also this side's also leaking. It's hard to tell on camera, but also one more thing, maybe a lot of people would miss this, but it doesn't look like, if you really look closely, the springs always break up here, but it looks like it's still intact, but you have to, you have to chip away uh, the, uh, the, the stuff and it's actually broken right here. I'm not sure if I got a better, a good look at this, but right here you can zoom in it's it's actually cracked right here but this part of the spring still still sitting in the seat so yeah now i can see it better there you go so yeah it is funny uh the advisor came down and i kind of showed him everything that i saw and i told him that yeah it felt, it felt bouncy in the rear and then that's you know clear sign and he's like oh yeah the customer he, this is what he said. He, oh, he said, oh yeah, the customer mentioned that, but he didn't write it down on the work order. So that is why it's uh, important to actually go on a test drive and, you know, get a feel of what the, the car feels like when you're driving it, and then you can do your inspection later from, uh, from what you feel on your test drive or here on your test drive. Because if you look at it at this angle, you'll never see that. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty easily missed. As someone will, you know, take off the wheels and inspect the springs. They'll look here. Okay, look, it looks fine. But you actually have to look right here to actually see it broken. So, could be easily missed. Or they uh, break inside here. But this one, it's just broken right up there. So, okay, also looking at the uh, trailing arm bushings. They don't look too bad. They're not broken. Pretty good for uh, 240,000 kilometers over here. Same deal. This side. Kind of looks like it's peeling, but that's actually just undercoating that they sprayed underneath here. So that 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 bushing is also good. Yeah, you want to check your tank straps, you know, in case this thing uh, rots out. Same thing on this side. It's weird. The uh, Honda Ridgeline. I had it where this completely rotted out, and then I had to. There's a recall for it, but the Honda the Honda Pilots. They uh, they seem to be pretty good. They don't have the recall for the uh, tank straps breaking. Same thing on this side, you know, tank straps. Here's your charcoal canister. But yeah, other than that, everything's been undercoated. So, also all the lines have been undercoated too. Brake lines. Yeah. Just uh, just the underbody of the, uh, the the Honda Pilot here. No, typical heat shield always rots out and it you get the rattling noise. And uh, yeah, other than that, pretty dry under here. Other than that, you know, one oil leak over here. So yeah, I don't know. Let let me let let me know in the comments if you guys like the uh, inspection videos that I do. And maybe I could do more of those. Also wanna check is uh this is a VCM motor. So there was no oil touching the dipstick and uh, Barely anything came out. So yeah, that's uh, that's one thing you want to check on these pilots and make sure it's not burning oil. I think it's only gone 8,000 kilometers since his last oil change, and yeah, nothing was touching the dipstick. 
so that's another thing with these all right so we got approved for the rear shocks rear springs and uh these parts are coming in tomorrow so everybody talks about oh they the the penetrating fluid they use you know what kind of penetrating fluid i use honda carburetor carburetor cleaner this thing works pretty good on dissolving carbon but it's also good in dissolving uh rust <laughs> So, I don't know, use that information as uh, uh, how, you, how, how you would like. But yeah, I'm just soaking it all the, all the, all the bolts in carp, carp cleaner. And then uh, it's gonna sit overnight for tomorrow and then hopefully those nuts, those bolts and everything can butt, bust loose. Yeah, I already soaked them up there, stuff like that. So yeah, Honda carburetor cleaner as a uh, penetrating fluid. So I don't wanna do much filming because I wanna be able to finish this by today but here you go got the uh got the lower arm off right and there it is that's uh that's where it's broken so wait till i remove this entire thing see completely broken good thing i got new uh new bump stock which is part of the seat up there and then also the seat for the bottom part here all in the uh all into that box over there for the new uh seat and bump stop how you remove it is uh there's a 14 mil inside a hole down here and you just gotta take that off this one comes off and you can remove the seat and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, while you're here you might as well remove the sway bar link since you have room because there's no spring here since I'm replacing these sway bar links here anyways these are real real uh, bitch to uh, get out sorry for the language but yeah when you, you, you they, they come out into here right and then those nut kind of rust themselves on there and it just spins and it's uh you can't you can't really grab it from in in here you have to kind of grab it from up top uh or you get the allen which usually they rust out and you round it and you can't even get it out okay so once you have your spring in you just get your hydraulic jack and then jack up the lower control arm uh, right now is a good time to torque that bolt down because there is a bushing in that knuckle and then uh yeah you can leave your sway bar link loose for now because we got still got to do the other side and then uh, you can put in the shock absorber on this side. It's uh, you just slide it in, and then you bolt it up top, and then put the bolt on the bottom, and then you're all good. So once that's all done, I'm gonna go and go ahead and do it on the uh, other side. Last but not least, it's the last two nuts for the sway bar link. There's that side, and then there's this side. There you go, all done. So yeah, now I can just do a, just got to do an alignment and then we're pretty much done. But just going to show you, you know, all the old, old stuff. This one's going to break pretty soon here too. Just like the other one. Uh, shocks, I pushed them in. Still hasn't popped back out yet. <laughs> Same on this side. That's a broken spring. But yeah, anyways, I think, uh, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next time. Yeah, and for the uh, heat shield, I just put a hose clamp, a really big one, and then I just uh, tighten that up, and that way it still has a heat shield, and it doesn't rattle. Oh, don't forget my socket. <laughs>